Hello there, David Taylor on Mr. Pelagonium, back with another video for the Pelagonium and Geranium Society. Uh, today is all about repotting. Back in the summer, I'll put the link up, I cut back a lot of my plants and it's time now to repot them, so let's get going. Hello there, well it's great to see you again on a rather dull and cloudy morning, although the weather is relatively decent here in the UK, it's been relatively warm over the last few days and things are growing quite nicely, it's not too hot, it's just quite nice and warm, although unfortunately at the weekend it's going to be cooling down again. Filming this on Wednesday the 23rd of August. So we're getting towards that sort of end of the summer period and you may remember, as I say, I put the link up slightly earlier um, about the fact that I cut back a lot of my exhibition plants. I mean, you can do this to ordinary plants as well if you want to perhaps give them a bit of a refresh and a regrow for the late summer period. I cut them back just relatively shortly after the shows. And it's now time to give them a repot. Now, repotting basically enables us to cut that root ball right back relatively sort of hardish, uh, just to repot them in the same size pot to be able to grow on strongly uh, for the next season, for next show season primarily for me it is, uh, with a lot of my show plants. Now we're getting, as I say, it's towards the end of August now, so realistically we've got in the UK around about a month uh, or so of good growing weather. I mean, one of the things with the UK is that you never know how our autumn uh, is going to pan out. So um, the weather in September is generally sort of fairly mild, but it can be quite warm. We just never really know. Same with October to a certain extent. So the thing about doing this now is that it gives the plant some time to get the roots out into the new compost because we're going to be cutting the, these root balls back quite hard. And it's just showing you really what you can do with a root ball on a pelagonium. You can really be brutal to them. Now, as I say, the important thing was that we cut the plants back, gave them plenty of time to seal off and grow a little bit out of the, the sort of cuts that we did. Uh, so now it's time to uh, pop them on. And I actually did a video I think if not for this one, for another one that's very similar, uh, about a week or so ago. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to slip that in now and I talk through it um, as I'm doing it so you can see exactly what goes on. Okay, so we're getting straight down to business. Um, this is, I think this is Shrivenham Crown actually, one of the plants that I've shown in the Floribunda class. It's a six inch pot, so we're basically going to cut that root ball right back uh, initially just prodding about and pulling out the compost. Uh, it was a clean root ball, so no problems at all. And it's immediately just getting the scissors on that root ball. Now, I do let these dry out to a certain extent before I do this, uh, because I want all that um, root ball to be quite dry. It enables um, cutting back much easier. If you've got a drenched root ball, it's very difficult. Uh, I mean, we've cut the the plant back some time ago so there's no problem with it potentially you know taking up uh, moisture through the roots uh, and bleeding on the stem so there's no problem with that uh, but we're continuing to hack back now one of the things that I will be doing is soaking this root ball in my insecticide which I have to do I've explained all about that in the past got really bad root mealy bug in this area that I live here but you can see I've cut that back by at least half, probably more, two thirds even that root ball. It's not a problem at all. So potting up now, um, standard, my peat free standard mix that I make these days, um, made up of topsoil and silver grow compost uh, and perlite. Um, and it's just really putting in, what, two inches, five, six centimetres, uh, and then sitting the, the new root ball on this, the cutback root ball on that. Back filling uh, with the compost, 
just to make sure that it's all leveled through, make sure that the actual body of the plant is nice and central. Um, that's why I just keep spinning it round, just backfilling, uh, lifting up, just checking that the uh, the body of the plant is nice and central in the pot, which is what I'm doing there now. Uh, and we're, we're just about done. Um, that plant will be fine, but it's had a soak in the insecticide there. So I will not water this now until about a week or so has passed. Make sure, if I look, about a week after I've done this, I'll look at the base of the pot, see if it's dry and then carry on watering it from there. So there we are, that gives you a bit of an idea of uh, what to do. Uh, I mean, you will, probably get a little bit of bloom coming through and it's up to you if you want to keep that i personally won't i would want to take this bloom off because i want all of the efforts to go into uh growing the plant but you often find certainly if you have repotted plants during the uh summer that you will get an autumn flush of bloom particularly from things like regals uh, they will give you a, a good sort of late flush because they like the slightly weaker sun that we're getting from about now. The days are really beginning to shorten in the UK. So um, they, the regals in particular uh, and some of the other sort of unique types and those sorts of plants are sort of beginning to uh, throw a little bit more bloom now in this later summer period. I mean, there's one that I cut back. This was cut back in around about sort of uh, June time, and it's just beginning to throw another little flush of bloom. Now, for me, it's a very busy time. I, I'm repotting a lot of plants. A lot of my plants need repotting. Um, and I'll perhaps talk about that in uh, sort of slightly later videos. Uh, one video that I am sort of in the process of doing is this, our test plant. Uh, you will see that it's been cropped, but don't worry, I filmed that. Uh, and I, what I want to do, I actually cut this back yesterday, so that was on the 22nd of August. Uh, and I want these stems to thoroughly dry off. And probably in two or three days, I will repot that. And that's when I'll do the, uh, the video just for the second part of cutting back this and repotting it but it's done very well but that's for another video uh, so in the meantime that's just about it from me today and i'll see you again very very soon